Hey guys, Lay Seed here, back again with another video. Today I'm doing an unboxing on the 40th anniversary of the Adidas Orion, a shoe that Terry Fox made famous and wore throughout his run across Canada to raise money for cancer. Um, these are a very historic and special shoes to not only Canadians, but also to cancer survivors. Terry Fox was a huge inspiration to many people. I mean, he will be greatly missed. Um, and Adidas has decided to again, re-release these shoes. Um, the last time these released was 2005. They made uh, 6,500 pairs. Uh, this time they're much more limited. Only about 1,200 pairs were made exclusive to adidas.ca. Retail price was 130. Um, last time I think the retail was about 100 bucks. Uh, so it has gone up a bit, but not too much over the past 15 years. Um, there are a few slight differences between the original pair from the 80s uh, the pair that was released in 2005 and the pair that it just dropped last weekend. Now, I knew these were going to be in high demand just because of who and what the shoe represents, uh, but I didn't expect them to sell out. Like These dropped at 10 a.m. last week and they sold out by, I think, 10.04, 10.05. All 1,200 pairs were gone. Before we get into the unboxing, let's go over a couple of the differences. The insoles for one. The, the original pair at the top has the Adidas branding repeated on the insole with the Trefoil logo. The 2005 release had a map of Canada with the route that Terry Fox ran. And the new 40th anniversary just has uh, 40 years on there with Terry Fox's silhouette. Another one of the differences is the label on the tongue. If we look at the 2020 pair, the inside label is blue. Whereas the original pair and the 2005 release, the inner label was white with blue writing, whereas it's reversed on this one. A couple other minor differences, the outsoles um, on the original pair from 1982, the Trefoil logo was repeating on it on all three um, with the little Adidas in white in the middle, but the Trefoil logos were, were much, much bigger. Um, the new one, it is much smaller and there's more uh, logos on them. I think the color has changed slightly. The 2005 and the 2020 are very close, but the original, the navy blue was a shade lighter than what the new retro release is. Other than that though, the shoe does stay pretty true to the original pair. Right off the bat, you'll see uh, a really nice touch here. The, in the paper that's included inside the box has a letter dated November 3rd, 1979. My name is Terry Fox. I am 21 years old. I am an amputee. I lost my right leg um, right above the knee to cancer, right? And then he talks about what he's planning on doing, the run. There's another letter at the bottom half dated November the 9th, 1979. In this letter, he was asking for some support, some help from the government and the Cancer Society to basically uh, help fund the project and to provide him with, he was asking for 26 pairs of sneakers to be donated to him and the two people that he had helping. As you can see, it did happen. Adidas um, gladly donated the Adidas Orion and it has now become his signature sneaker. Throughout his run across Canada, he had gone through nine out of the 26 pairs that they had given him. Uh, before the cancer had spread to his lungs and then he had to stop and be flown back. Um, now these shoes released in the 80s obviously were not a technical running shoe. They were very, very basic. I'm surprised he was even able to run so far. He ran over you know, 5,000 kilometers, over 3,000 miles for you Americans out there in this shoe. It's got very little cushioning. It's a pretty basic running shoe. Now imagine if he ran in a shoe made with today's standards, uh, which just shows the determination that he had. The letter included here is a really, really nice touch. The last release had a cardboard cutout that showed the original on the one side and the 2005 retro on the other side. This one has a letter on the paper insert and there are an additional set of laces that are included that uh, I don't know if you guys can see this probably not focusing but it says uh, somewhere the hurting must stop and it's repeated all across the shoe itself comes with just the standard navy laces the shoe is entirely navy with just the hits of the white three stripes in leather 
leather on the heel and the lining on the inside is also leather. We have a nylon on the toe right here that runs up the tongue and then just has the Adidas branding. Um, like I said, 40 years on the insole, navy bottom with the hit of white on the heel or on the right in the center. If you take a look, a look closely, Adidas branding right there as well. Um, now these do fit a bit big. I did purchase um, 11 and a half, which is my true size, um, but I could have gone down to an 11, uh, which kind of sucks because I would have liked to wear these, you know, but I guess I'll just keep them as a keepsake. Uh, it is a historic piece of culture and heritage for Canada as well. So the one difference that you'll also notice on the retro here, it says Terry Fox. Same thing with the 2005 retro. It said Terry Fox on the side. Whereas the original obviously said Orion as at that time, obviously nobody knew how impactful his, this run was going to be, how uh, iconic he would end up being. So that's it. Just a quick review on the Adidas Orion 40th anniversary Terry Fox. I know a lot of people did miss out on this sneaker uh, in Canada that would have liked to get their hands on it because obviously it's not just sneaker collectors that would want this. It is historians. It's people who... Um, you know, I may have beat cancer, people who are, you know, in support of the cause itself. The shoe just means a lot to a lot of people. The good news is, even though these did sell out, there is more merchandise coming soon. Terry Fox is, uh, I don't know, one of his family members is in charge of the Terry Fox Foundation. And he did mention later on this year, they will be releasing uh, more sneakers. I don't know if it's going to be the same shoe, if it's going to be a different model. Uh, I heard rumblings that it could be an Ultra Boost, which would be cool. A Terry Fox Edition Ultra Boost would be really nice. And maybe some more merchandise. These did release. At the time these released, there also was a t-shirt that released. I was not able to get my hands on that, though, because my main focus was the shoes. And I knew if I went back to try to add that to cart, I would have probably uh, had inventory issues and the shoes would have sold out. But I'm glad I was able to secure a pair. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, were you guys looking to get this shoe? Is it a, a cop or a drop? Are you looking to pay resell on the secondary market for it? Um, or are you just going to pass and wait for the, uh, the next release to see what actually comes out? Um, that's it for today, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back again with another video. Peace.